Nishu to another video on Fund Math. Today we are going to discuss about conditional identities in trigonometry. What are conditional identities? Okay, you may listen some trigonometric identities like sine sin square theta plus cos square theta is equal to 1, secant square theta minus tan square theta is 1 and some other. But there are some other identities like if a plus b plus c is equal to pi tan a plus tan b plus tan c is equal to tan a tan b tan c. Here you have a condition that is a plus b plus c is equal to pi or 180 degrees. Such statements are called as conditional identities. That identity is, is true only if the condition is true. Today let's discuss some examples on that. First, let's start by a problem that is in triangle ABC. In a triangle ABC, if cos A, cos B, cos C is equal to square root of 3 minus 1 by 8. Cos A times cos B times cos C. And sin A times sin B times sin C is equal to 3 plus root 3 by 8. Then find the angles of the triangle. How can we find? First, we have cos A, cos B, cos C and sin A, sin B, sin C. Okay, now one idea will come to your mind that is if we divide sin A, sin B and sin C by cos A, cos B and cos C, you will get tan A into tan B into tan C, right? And it is root 3 plus root 3 by 8 by 3 minus root 3 minus 1 by 8. So 8, 8 cancels out. So you will get 3 plus root 3 by root 3 minus 1. And we know that tan A tan B tan C is equal to tan A plus tan B plus tan C. So tan A plus tan B plus tan C is also 3 plus root 3 by square root of 3 minus 1. Okay, I have said that tan A plus tan B plus tan C is equal to tan A into tan B into tan C, right? But how has it come? Is there any proof for that? Let's see first. And then let's continue this problem. Okay, now we should prove that in triangle ABC, tan A plus tan B plus tan C is equal to tan A into tan B into tan C. This is only right in a triangle ABC or if A plus B plus C is equal to pi. This is also a conditional identity. How can we prove that? Given A, A, B, C is a triangle, right? That means A plus B plus C is equal to 180 degrees. Sum of angles in a triangle is 180 degrees. So A plus B is pi minus C or 180 minus C. If you apply tan on both sides or if you take tan of both of these angles, then you will get tan A plus B is equal to tan pi minus C. Tan A plus B, what is it? tan a plus tan b by 1 minus tan a tan b right it is the formula for tan a plus b and tan pi minus c you know that in second quadrant only sine is positive if you want you can remember like all silver tea cups means all means all are positive all ratios are positive in first quadrant in second quadrant silver means sine is only positive and in Third quadrant, T means tan. See the first letter, tan is only positive and in fourth quadrant, cos is only positive. So, in it is pi minus C or 180 minus C means it is in the second quadrant, right? In second quadrant, tan is negative. Only sine and cosecant are positive. So, it is minus tan C because we have pi, right? Pi means you will get the same. Or if you have pi by 2 or 3 pi by 2, then you will get its opposite one. Means tan means cot, sine means cos, like that. It is an easy way to remember this. Okay, now, in denominator, we have 1 minus tan a tan b, right? So, multiply both sides with 1 minus tan a tan b. So, in the LHS, the denominator cancels out. 
So I'll get tan A plus tan B is equal to multiply 1 minus tan A tan B with minus tan C. So it will be minus tan C and here minus times this minus it will become positive tan A plus tan B plus tan C. And if you send tan C to the side then you will get tan A plus tan B plus tan C is equal to tan A into tan B into tan C. This is how to prove that. Now let us continue our previous problem. Up to where we have discussed our previous problem, we found tan A, tan B, tan C and tan A plus tan B plus tan C. They are 3 plus root 3 by root 3 minus 1. Now, A plus B plus C is equal to pi, right? That means cos A plus B plus C is cos pi. Apply cos on both sides. Now, cos A plus B plus C, you can expand this by cos A plus B plus C. You should do that twice and then you will get the expansion as cos A cos B cos C minus cos A sin B sin C minus cos B sin C sin A minus cos C sin A sin B. Here's an easy one to remember, right? It seems to be a big one. But first we'll have all cos. In second one, only cos A and in third one cos B. In fourth one cos C, remaining terms. And you will get negatives from second term. And here if we take cos A cos B cos C common then you will get cos A into cos B into cos C. And it is in brackets you will get cos A cos B cos C is has come outside right. So you will get one remaining. But in second term we not have cos B and cos C. So we should divide the remaining with that sin b into sin c by cos b into cos c means it is tan b into tan c similarly in the third term you will get minus tan c into tan a in fourth term tan a into tan b is equal to cos pi the value of cos 180 degrees is negative 1 and means that if we send this to the other side then you will get 1 minus tan a tan b plus tan c tan b tan c plus tan c tan a is equal to 8 by root 3 minus 1. So, you will get tan a tan b plus tan b tan c plus tan c tan a is equal to 1 plus 8 by root 3 minus 1. A 1 plus 8 by root 3 minus 1 means if we simplify this then it will become root 3 minus 1 plus 8. Root 3 minus 1 plus 8 means it is 7 plus root 3 by root 3 minus 1 and if you rationalize that you will get 5 plus 4 root 3 5 plus 4 root 3 the, let it be equation number 3 now we know tan a plus tan b plus tan c and tan a tan b plus tan b tan c plus tan c tan a and tan a tan b tan c what you remember we know like xyz x plus y plus z xy plus yz plus za zx if you remember carefully the general form of a cubic polynomial or a cubic equation is x square minus a plus a plus b plus c x cube minus a plus b plus c x plus a b plus b c plus c a x minus a b c is equal to 0 that is the general form of a cubic polynomial right from that you will get x cube minus tan a plus tan b plus tan c x square which is nothing but 3 plus root 3 by root 3 minus 1 x square here we have taken this polynomial as tan a and tan b and tan c as the roots plus a b plus b c plus c a x it is 5 plus 4 root 3 x minus 3 plus root 3 by root 3 minus 1 is equal to 0 which is a b c is equal to 0 is how to convert that into a cubic equation and now if we simplify this by taking root 3 minus 1 as an lcm now, second and last terms, if you observe carefully, we can rationalize them. 
but we should rationalize them in a different way that is take root 3 common from the numerator then you will get root 3 into 1 plus root root 3 plus 1 by root 3 minus 1 if you multiply numerator and denominator with root 3 plus 1 then in denominator you will get 2 and in the numerator you will get 3 plus 1 plus root 3 whole square which is 1 plus 2 root 3 plus 3 or 4 plus root 3 by 2 so it is 2 plus root 3 into this root 3 we have taken common so root 3 x square and the last term will also be 2 plus root 3 into root 3 because both are same is equal to 0 and if we multiply then you will get x cube minus root 3 into root 3 3 plus 2 root 3 x x squared plus 5 plus 4 root 3 x minus 3 plus 2 root 3 3 plus 2 root 3 is equal to 0 if you observe carefully what if we substitute x is equal to 1 then you will get 1 minus root 3 plus 2 root 3 plus 5 plus 4 root 3 minus 3 plus 2 root 3 right or it is 6 plus 4 root 3 minus 6 minus 4 root 3 or it is 0 right so x is equal to 1 is the root of the above equation so if you take x minus 1 common and divide this whole thing with x minus 1 then you will get x square minus 2 plus root 3 x plus 3 plus 2 root 3 is equal to 0 right and this you can again factorize this right how can we factorize this for factorizing this if we divide the last term as root 3 and root 2 plus root 3 root 3 if you take root 3 common from this you will get 2 plus root 3 right root 3 into 2 plus root 3 if we add them root 3 plus 2 plus root 3 then what will we get you will get 2 plus 2 root 3 right root 3 plus 2 plus root 3 or root 3 plus root 3 becomes 2 root 3 so it is 2 plus 2 root 3 so you can divide this middle term as minus root 3 x minus 2 plus root 3 x and if we factorize and if we take common you will get x minus root 3 into x minus 2 plus root 3 is equal to 0 means it is clearly visible that x is equal to 1 or root 3 or 2 plus root 3 the values of x are 1 root 3 and 2 plus root 3 that means tan a is 1 and tan b is root 3 and tan c is 2 plus root 3 how because this is a cubic polynomial with tan a tan b and tan c as the roots we take this triangle as tan a tan b and tan c or roots of this so tan c is 2 plus root 3 right but there doesn't exist any tan value for 2 plus root 3 but it exists and 2 plus root 3 is the tan value of 75 degrees but you may not be known about 2 tan inverse of or tan 75 is 2 plus root 3 you may not know this you may know that tan 75 is root 3 plus 1 by root 3 minus 1 right so if if you derationalize this or or 2 plus root 3 right 2 plus root 3 means it is if we divide and multiply with 2 you will get 4 plus 2 root 3 by 2 or it is root 3 plus 1 whole square by 2 and you will get root 3 plus 1 by root 3 minus 1 or in other ways here you have rationalized root 3 plus 1 by root 3 minus 1 right it is nothing but 2 plus root 3 so tan c is 2 plus root 3 or it is root 3 plus 1 by root 3 minus 1 means tan 45 is 1 so a is 45 degrees tan 60 degrees is root 3 so b is 60 degrees and tan 75 is root 3 plus 1 by root 3 minus 1 that means c is 75 degrees so the angles of the triangle are 45 60 and 75 degrees
or here tan c is equal to plus root 3 no need to change that because we know tan a and tan b right means tan a is 1 means a is 45 degrees and b is 60 degrees and it is given that abc is a triangle right so you can find the lost angle so the angles of the triangle are 45 degrees 60 degrees and 75 degrees okay guys this is for today's video i hope you enjoyed this video if you're not comment down below why you have it if you have any doubts comment down below i'll answer them in the next video